Hi, welcome to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. Here at Genius Lounge, we take tech and make it accessible to mere mortals. Today, we're going to talk about switching from WhatsApp to Signal. With Facebook's new data sharing policies between many of their apps, people are ditching the WhatsApp service left and right. They want something that's more secure and that takes privacy more seriously. Enter Signal. Signal provides industry-leading encryption on every single message, voice, and video call that goes through the service. They offer features such as group chats with admin controls, message reactions, link previews, and read receipts. The Signal app works on iPhone and Android as well, and they even have desktop apps so you can use them on your computer. One of the best parts here is that Signal is a nonprofit that's not after your data. They're a 501c3 here in the US, and their goal is to make sure that you can speak freely with your friends and family. If you're interested in donating to Signal, go to signal.org where you can make a donation, and you can also get started on downloading the app as well. All right, let's get started. To use Signal, you're going to need a phone number that can receive SMS text messages and a phone. So on your phone, let's go ahead and go into the App Store. From here, we'll search for Signal. And you'll see Signal is the first item that shows up here underneath Messenger, which is an ad. And we will go ahead and tell it to install Signal. Okay, now we have Signal installed. Let's go ahead and get started setting it up. So first of all, it's going to ask us to enable some permissions, and this is just so that Signal can gather some contacts to see who else is on the service as well. Please take note, they do not store your contacts. They only reference them to see who else is on the service and even states right here, we do not store your contacts on the server. So we'll tell that okay. Also, Signal would like to send you notifications. We need to allow notifications to make sure that we can get incoming messages and calls. All right, and in this case, I'm going to put in my phone number for Genius Lounge. And here in just a moment, I will get a text message with that code. And it's asking if you want to transfer from another iOS device or if you want to register without transferring. This is because I have used Signal with this phone number before. You may or may not see this screen. But I'm going to go ahead and say, register without transferring. And once again, I've previously created a pin. You may be prompted to create a pin at this point. So now I see another notification signal would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. I'm going to go ahead and tell this OK. All right, now you've got signal installed and you probably want to go ahead and get started chatting with some of your friends. However, they may not have signal installed. So go ahead and share this video with them so that they can also get it installed and you guys can start having conversations that are nice and secure. If you found this video helpful, we would ask that you please consider subscribing. If you ring the little bell after subscribing, you'll get notifications about every video that we post. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your host, Matt Troutman, and we'll see you around the Genius Lounge.